All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Monday Morning Motivation Zoom. Uh, I will call them back. They should be on the Zoom. All right. Good deal. I don't know who it is. So my name is Austin Zuloff, Vice President for North America for Zealous. And my word, we had an incredible weekend and it's only getting better and better this week. Uh, we actually worked out a couple bugs over the weekend, and I think we've already gotten a couple of them uh, worked out today. Minor stuff, most of you probably didn't even notice, but uh, we strive for perfection here. I keep getting people that are joining, so all right, good stuff. So I want to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, most of the time, whenever we get on these motivational Zooms, I go over one of W. Clement Stone's 17 success principles out of the book, believe and achieve. And you can see this copy. I have um, uh, made notes in it. I've had this, I think, since 2013. Um, this is actually a copy that my mom gave me. Uh, I've owned several copies, but if you haven't ever read that book, Believe and Achieve by Samuel Seipert, I give it two thumbs up and would highly recommend it. Uh, today, I'd like to go over one of the most powerful success principles out there, period. It's actually been called the starting point of all achievement. It's a pretty tall order, right? Pretty big name to live up to. It's the success principle, definiteness of purpose. It's more than just goal setting, guys. It's more like a roadmap to success. Most overnight successes have spent years preparing themselves for the opportunity that finally gives them the recognition they deserve, finally yields them the returns, the dividends that they have spent years pouring into. So having a primary aim for your life just has crazy synergistic effect on your ability to achieve what you set out to do, okay? Every action you take in life ultimately boils down to the question, will this help me reach my overall objective or won't it? If what you're doing at that moment doesn't further you towards your goals, you simply just don't do it. And if you do that, it's, it, it's, and if you really take this into consideration, your purpose will become your life. It'll just take over your actions. And then magic happens, guys. Magic happens in a big way. I've seen it not only for myself, but uh, anyone who has taken the time to, uh, to really take this into consideration. Napoleon Hill believed through his whole life that the main reason some people succeed, why others fail, is that successful people have this definiteness of purpose for their lives. And, you know, the people that fail just don't. He spent his life informing others that they should, you know, know what they're going to go after if they ever hope to get it. Napoleon Hill actually had a four-point formula on how to develop definiteness of purpose. I'm going to share that with you today. And it's actually found in that book. So the first point, we'll call it the first step. Step number one is to write down a clear, concise statement of what you want most out of life. Now, this could be reaching an income level, rank advancing, acquiring enough capital to start a certain venture or whatever, you know. Uh, the only criteria for deciding your primary aim is that once you've achieved it, you must feel that you deserve to be called a success. That's the only criteria for step number one. Here's a tip that will help you solidify this purpose. So write down your goals you know, on a three by five card that you can carry with you and check out through the day. I'm actually on my laptop pretty much all day for the most part, I'm, I'm on my laptop quite a bit and I have my goals here on the desktop of my laptop with a, uh, a mark, it's uh, uh, got a, a red mark. Uh, so by keeping your goal right in front of you at all times, life will happen for you, not to you, okay? Because life happens, doesn't it? Happens to us all. Second tip or second point is develop an outline of your plan to achieve this major goal. You know, it doesn't need to be a long plan. You know, I, I, honestly, it could be super short. It doesn't matter. Just a solid plan, okay? Uh, 
Uh, once again, magic happens whenever you not only know what you're going after, but if you have a definite written plan to achieve that. Okay, so here's the third tip. And this is a very simple tip. Set a definite time of, timetable of some sort for achieving your goal. All right. Remember that most goals are reached in steps. So your plan should include small steps or smaller goals, right? That help you get to your main goal. Now, I once knew a man, interesting story. I once knew a man that became president of Combined Insurance Company, and he had his entire career plan written down on a small three by five card that he had laminated. It simply listed the promotions right? And the dates he expected to receive them by until he became the president of Combined Insurance Company. That's where I got my professional start in the world is with Combined Insurance Company. And um, it was interesting. This guy's name was Richard Raven. Phenomenal gentleman, phenomenal energy. Uh, Love this guy. And it was so interesting when I, I was in Aruba and I saw this little card because we had some time together. We ate dinner together. And um it was interesting that for the past few decades, he had had this written down on this three by five card. So uh, the fourth and final tip of Napoleon Hill's four point formula is memorize your definite chief aim and your plan. Very simple. Memorize your definite chief aim and plan. Repeat them for several times a day, almost like a prayer and end that, you know, that prayer, that quote unquote prayer with an expression of gratitude for having received what your plan calls for. Now, by ending with gratitude, you tap into the subconscious power of auto suggestion and the reticular activating system and condition your subconscious to accept these goals as reality. Then your subconscious gets to work doing things unconsciously to point you in that direction. It's so neat how the mind works. Another thing to take into consideration is when you have definiteness of purpose, work becomes fun. You know, like Fran, I see Fran having fun, guys. You know, Fran and Brandy, and there, there's some folks right now that we have that are just on fire, right? And you feel motivated to pay the price and you do it willingly and have fun doing it. You voluntarily study, think, and plan, building your enthusiasm and intensifying your burning desire to achieve your goals. You willingly get guests on every opportunity presentation, willingly join on on the trainings. You're willingly on the uh, Facebook group, plugging in, getting others plugged in. You know, maybe, just maybe the greatest single advantage of having a definite aim is that it helps put the rest of your life in perspective. Few of us really have the time, energy, or resources to accomplish all we'd like with one lifetime. The chief goal, um, still have people joining. The chief goal, okay, uh, it, it really just becomes an instant guide for priority setting, doesn't it? Either way, so let's say that what you're doing right now, throughout your whole life, Whatever you're doing right now either helps you reach your goal or it doesn't. It really becomes that simple when you have that definiteness of purpose and when you apply these four points that we just went over. But remember that reaching your goal is a journey, not a destination, okay? I'd like to close out the call with a quote and a call to action, okay? An anonymous author once wrote, nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent won't. Nothing's more common than an unsuccessful person with talent. Genius won't. Unused genius is almost a proverb. Education won't. The world is full of educated idiots. Persistence and determination alone stand supreme. So my challenge to you today is to engage in thinking time. Come up with a definiteness of purpose and apply all four steps of this formula we went over today. Try not to wait to get started on it because remember that procrastination is opportunity's natural assassin and the longer it takes us to do the things we say we're going to do, the less likely we are to actually do them. So 
Start on the journey and carry your purpose with you everywhere. And let's make the most of this life, starting with today. Make the most of this day. Love you, Zealous. Appreciate you. And I'll see you crossing the stage of life's success. This concludes Monday's motiv uh, motivational Zoom. We'll see you in the group.